Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's day 18 of my uh, health and well-being challenge. Um, oh, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd take you through a uh, little bit of um, kind of what I do in the morning. So um, I've already had uh, had a meditation and then uh, been out for a walk this morning. Um, and now I am going to take you through uh, my morning drink that I have, which... Uh, is uh, all about really cleansing the body. So it's a morning coffee or a tea, um, you can do either. Um, but I'm gonna show you uh, the kind of stuff that I put in there. So, let's turn this around here. Okay, this is my little corner over here. Um, so yep, the pineapple is not going in there. Use that for a juice later. Um, right, okay, so what I start off with, it, I've already actually had it. I should have filmed this when I did it, but um, let me take you through it now. So the first drink that I have is, I have about half a glass of water and uh, I add these couple of things in here. So the first one is uh, beetroot powder. Um, so have about sort of like a half a teaspoon of the, half a tablespoon, sorry, of this. A um, couple of little glugs or a couple of tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar, mix that with water. Um, so, you know, apple cider vinegar has been shown to have um, a lot of different benefits, um, health benefits. So, um, anything from lowering blood sugar levels, so, you know, helpful against diabetes um, to lowering cholesterol um, and uh, all, all, all these different benefits. Um, beetroot powder uh, I use um, because uh, this is a vasodilator, so it opens up uh, your blood vessels, you know, helps you to get a lot of oxygen um, into your blood early on in the morning, but also it helps you, therefore, receive some of the things that I'm going to put in my drink. So, into my actual coffee. So, I'll, whoops, I'm going to drop the flour there. Let's uh, put those back. So um, this is what I'm gonna make the coffee in, or what I did make the coffee in today. So it's a neutral bullet. So uh, on top of here you have, I haven't washed it yet, uh, but this goes on the top there, whoops, and uh, blends it up. So um, here's some tea that I've got. So this is some really nice tea, which is um, from Thailand. Um, I actually had coffee this morning though. So what I put into here is, um, so first of all, we have uh, something called uh, MCT oil. Um, so this is kind of uh, the fatty acids that you get in things like avocado and, uh, and coconut. So you're getting some essential fatty acids into your body. Uh, another thing, let's go in here. Another thing that we do use as well is to use uh, some ghee, uh, about a tablespoon of that. So we're getting these uh, essential fatty acids into our body. Um, what else goes in the drink? So we have uh, probably about half a, half a tablespoon of um, cacao powder. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this is a really, really powerful antioxidant, um, which is gonna help you to keep looking younger and of course is good uh, to fight against things like cancer. Um, small amount of turmeric powder, so probably about half a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Uh, this is a powerful anti-inflammatory agent. What else do we have? Um, these are actually capsules. They don't taste too great, so I don't actually put them in the drink. Um, but these are uh, a mixture of six different mushrooms. Um, so mushrooms are. Uh, are really good for you. They have many, many, many health benefits, especially um, to help uh, um, boost your immune system. Uh, have a, a big sort of scoop of uh, what are sort of um, green. So this is greens, so complete greens. Um, so you have a tremendous amount of obviously things like iron and uh, B vitamins in there. Because, you know, we, even though we eat a lot, we, we struggle to get enough uh, greens inside us. A lot of you might not like this one, uh, but this is actually cricket protein powder. So 
you know, one of the great things about um, eating insects is, and um, you know, it doesn't look like insects, but uh, it's just ground up powder. But you know, here you're getting um, all the parts of the body. So, I mean, they're very, very high in protein um, insects, you know, obviously widely eaten in the East. Um, you know, when I've been out in places like Vietnam, and Thailand and Cambodia and places like that, um, I've eaten a lot of insects. I actually quite like them. Um, but, uh, you, you know, you're eating all of the organs and all of the tendons and everything. So you're getting so much more valuable protein than we normally eat just from meat here. And, you know, eating a lot of meat um, or, you know, um, muscle tissue, um, you know, actually causes quite a lot of inflammation in the body. Um, but they do say in the East as well, you know, if you've got a problem with your shoulder, eat the shoulder of an animal. You know, you've got a problem with your knees, eat the, the knee of the animal. Well, you know, this this is the whole animal here. So you can absolutely everything. Um, it's an amazing source of protein. Again, it's quite a nutty taste. Um, so I just put about half a, ta a teaspoon, sorry, of that um, into the body and uh, into my drink, sorry. And uh, I actually quite like the taste of that. Um, so what else? Uh, Actually, the only thing that I haven't got here because I've run out and I need to buy some more is uh, is collagen. Um, so collagen hydrolysate. So this is actually really good for um, for your muscles and recovery of muscles. We don't get enough collagen in our diet, um, so that's something that I do put in the drink as well. Obviously, then you put in some tea or some some coffee into there, some hot water, mix it all up, and uh, away you go. So that's. Uh, that's a drink that I start my morning with, and then I don't actually eat until lunchtime. So I have a meal at lunchtime, and I have a meal sort of um, uh, around about five in the evening, and that's me for the day. So, yep, um, hope that uh, shows you what I get up to in the mornings. Uh, I shall uh, speak to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.